Hi, my name is Danielle and this is Candy Geeks. On this week's episode, I'm going to be showing you how I build my Holtzman armband unit. I'll be showing you all of the parts that are inside it and the process that I go through in order to create it. So, stay tuned. Before starting the build, if you look on the screen now, you can see how the armband looks. I haven't done the rivets around the edges, but I do imitate the functionality. So let's go have a look at the parts. So here's all the parts that I used for the Holtzman armband. The first part is the main housing unit, which I just cut a hole in using Dremel, and holes for the various switches and stuff. The next thing is the USB connector, and I just solder a wire onto that and put it straight into the Arduino Due. This is the switch housing which goes on top of the unit. I put one LED in the top and the two toggle switches in the side. This is a, an old speaker kind of buzzy unit which I just take apart and that has the trap function button mounted into it. Next we have the power supply which is just a phone charger power bank thingy. Then we have the main brains of the unit which is an Arduino Uno. Uh, which I've written all the code for and I transfer right at the start. The final part of the most important component is obviously the screen which displays the animations and this is an IL9381 or something screen, I can't remember but I get it off um, Amazon anyway. Then you have the various switches, we have the toggle switch to switch between traps and the ghost containment button followed by the two toggle switches, one which acts as power and the other one is to switch between trap and screensaver mode. Then we have the strap to attach it to your arm and this is a luggage strap. And finally these cable ties which I use to attach the battery onto the main unit. So the first thing that needs to be done is to cut all the holes in this to mount the various components into it. Make some basic measurements on it and then I make the cut using a Dremel via freehand. And I think the fact it's freehand adds to the kind of bodge job element of it as you see represented by Holtzman in the Ghostbusters movie. It's very kind of just smash everything together and whatever. Check to make sure that everything is fitting nicely all the way through. Seems to be doing okay. Cool. One thing I forgot to mention is the 8 gigabyte uh, SD mini SD memory card thing. This is for putting the bitmap file images on to create the animations. Obviously very important. And it literally just slots into the top of the screen like that top box on. I just attach it with a couple of rivets to make sure it stays safe and put a hole through the middle so I can get the cables into the main unit from the switch here. It's back over in the work area. I know it's very untidy but hate is gonna hate. Potato is gonna potate. It's like you set up a nuclear driven bomb. Dick. <laughs> so yeah we've got the switches in. Those will be switching things. Strap thing. Hole. Let's do some more stuff. I'm soldering the cable onto the USB connector now so I can plug the unit into a USB mobile phone power bank. Let's get some soldering done then. I'm absolutely shit at soldering so just, yeah, I'll just get in there and try and get it done. <clears throat> Is that your life motto? What? Get in there and get it done. Yep. Woohoo! One soldered. One USB power connector added. And I have probably done the cables the wrong way around. Because that's the kind of thing that I do. Get the little plastic thingamabobbers. That's what they're actually called. That is their technical name. Is that their official name? Official name, plastic thingamabobbers. Google search it. Nope. And there we go. Safe to handle. First power test. Bodging some wires together because it's the first test. Right, let's plug it in. See what happens. Please don't short circuit. So this is the first test to see if the armband unit works. 
I'm gonna say that's a yes. Good shit. The third set of wires are connected up, so we now have power to the unit. And you can see the Kenner logo comes up. Let's have a look at it from the front. Yeah, that's how the back looks at the moment. The ground cable, which is on the wrong wire, it's on the red wire, has gone into the ground thing and I've just soldered that on. And the power cable, or the plus 5 volt, comes up to the switch and then heads off over to the battery here and I'm just able to plug it in. All that without blowing up the flat! Well done, Danny! Both toggle switches are wired in, the power and the switch between trap and screensaver switch. So now all I need to do is the ghost trap trigger and the trigger to switch between the 1984 and the 2016 trap and then get the LED in and then it's just a case of attach the strap, pop the back on and we should be finished. Let's get this wired up. Button. So now that I have the two cables attached to the ecto containment button, it's time to slot it through this hole that I made in this buzzer. So getting it through there is fine, um, but screwing the back on is so unbelievably difficult. But let's see how we get on. In actual fact, this is probably the longest part of the whole build. It's been six years since I started trying to get this in. And there we have the trap containment button. So let's give it a try now with the new button on. You can see that it is on the pedal ready to activate screen. And when I press the containment button now, the trap system starts. And on this occasion, it would appear that the ghost has escaped. Now this is my most annoying switch. This switch is between the 1984 and the 2016 traps on the display. Now the thing is, the hole that this has to go into right here has to be in the exact right position because if it's too low, it will press against the screen and push the whole unit to the left. But if it's too high, it will press against the Arduino Uno and push the entire unit to the left. So we can only hope that on this occasion, I got it in the correct position. And the final part is to get the LED in. So here's all the wiring complete inside the armband unit. I leave a gap in the side so that if any updates become available, people can still program it. And now it's time to just test it to make sure everything works before I close it all up. Now that the unit's been tested, it's time to get everything glued in and secured. Because although the joints are soldered down well, I still don't want any pulling on them to pull the cables out. So the best thing to do is start gluing on the side that Kat hates me to glue on. Now that everything's glued into place, it's time to think ahead. The cable ties to attach the battery. I only need to put them in, but I don't want to attach the battery yet because it means I won't be able to get the strap on. So let's try and get these in. There we go, the cable ties are on now, and I will attach the battery to those later. Now it's time to try and slide the strap on. And there we go, now the strap is attached. I will do one final test before actually gluing the rest of the parts on. Everything seems to be fully functional, so let's get the battery on now. And we'll tighten those up with pliers in a minute to make sure they are very firmly attached. And snip the ends off so they don't catch on anything. And here we have the back of the unit complete. This bit sticks up to attach the ghost containment button to. And this is just a feature that I noticed on Holtzman's armband in the film. Basically, I've taken a quadruple battery holder, cut it in half, taken all the lines off and just riveted onto the back so that will fit onto the unit like this. So let's get that attached as well and close everything up. And here it is complete. So let's go and test out the features. I actually finished building this about two weeks ago now 
um, but I've had to come back and reshoot the ending of the video because I've done a little bit of an update to the code which makes the buttons respond quicker. So this is actually getting posted off today, so I need to take the opportunity to get this piece of footage um, before it goes. So if we turn it on using the power button, you'll notice that the green LED is very bright, so I may have to cover it up with my finger. But when you turn it on, the green LED comes on. If I cover that so you can see the screen, you've now got the Ghost Corpse logo. It then does all the initializing stuff. And then a calibrating screen. And then finally it goes into the section that I reference as the screen saver. Obviously the colour is a bit washed out on the screen at the moment because it's so bright. So now the code change that I made. When you press this switch it goes into trap mode. Now the way the old code worked was when you press the switch you'd have to wait until the screensaver finished for it to actually go into trap mode, but now it goes instantly. So as soon as I switch it down, it goes into trap mode, no matter where it is in the screensaver. And now I can press the trap button, which is there, and you'll see the catching the ghost animation begins. You may have noticed that that was the 2016 trap, the more cylindrical version. Now if we flip this switch on the bottom, it turns it to the 1984 trap. So when we press the button this time, you'll see the 1984 trap is on the screen. And you can choose which trap you prefer out of the two of them. And by the looks of it, the ghost has escaped on this occasion. And we'll go back into screensaver mode. So, those are all the features on my armband unit and what it takes to make one. Although this video is probably no more than 10 minutes long, I can spend a whole day making just one of these and obviously I have a lot of orders for them. I think I've sold about 30 so far. So if you're interested in buying one of these off me, please head over to Candy Geek's Facebook page and send me a message. Thank you very much for watching this video. As always, we love the shit out of you. You guys are absolutely fantastic. If you do enjoy our videos, please don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. Like this video, leave a comment, and don't forget, punch that subscribe button in the dick. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Love you all. I am soldering the cable onto the cart. Oh shit, wrong way, as expected. The power and the switch between trap and screen. Ah, fuck.